Hey guys, I wanted to come on and give you a bonus quick, like, four, part four of this um, Inspired by Van Gogh series. So, this is our canvas, and it's completely dry. Um, whenever you do a canvas, it's always a good idea, well, a painting, it doesn't have to be canvas, it's a good idea to seal it. It protects the paint and the vibrancy of the colors, and if, you, if you've done it mixed media style and you've got collage and things on there, it protects the paper and all that sort of thing um, from fading and degrading over time. Um, there's a million different ways to seal your artwork out there. I would recommend a few steps. Um, if you have used uh, any sort of water soluble or smudgy material on your canvas, I recommend that you spray it with some sort of fixative before you do anything. Um, I use Spectrafix non aerosol um, because I can use it inside, it doesn't make me wheeze to be honest. Um, and I would do two or three light coats of this because it's pretty watery. You could use an aerosol Krylon product. They make a couple of different products that I like uh, when I do use them, which is rare um, because they bother me. But it, um, use them in a well-ventilated area because they're aerosol. And if you have sensitivity to chemical odors, chemical odors like I do, then wear a mask. Um, they have a matte finish spray, which works pretty well. And they also have a workable fixative. And again, I would give it about two coats, probably light coats. Let it dry real good in between. Um, and after the final coat before you do anything. Um, then I took our Inspired by Van Gogh canvas and I actually gave it a one coat um, all over on the top and the sides of um, Deco um, Arts Americana Deco Page. This is antique um, glue a sealer and finish. These are all finished, you know, sealers. Um, and this one is not clear. It has, you can tell it has a little bit of a tint to it, an ambery colored tint to it. And it, I thought it would be nice on here because it will give it a kind of an antique -y, kind of old little bit of a tinge to the color. Um, there's a number of different varnishes and things out there you could use. Um, this is Monday with Deco Arts. So we're going to use Deco Arts products. Now, because this is a decoupage type glue and they can get sticky when they get hot. Um, I like to finish it with a layer of wax. Um, we're going to try the Americana Decor Cream Wax. Um, this is the clear. I'm, and I'm assuming because this says clear, it must come in colors. I don't have the colors. It would be interesting to try them on something like this. So it's something I might have to look and see if I can get. <laughs> Let's open it. I haven't opened it yet. It says to... Um, Dries clear, low odor, fast drying, use Americana Decor Chalky Finish to seal, wait, use over Americana Decor Chalky Finish to seal and protect your finished piece. Apply with um, a wax waxing brush or a clean lint-free cloth. Let dry and buff to desired sheen with a clean cloth. Easy cleanup with soap and water. Wax surfaces should be kept free of moisture and heavy use for seven days. All right, so it doesn't actually say how long. It, and I'm, I'm reading that without my reading glasses on. That's why I stumbled a couple times because I didn't grab my glasses. So now that my deco page layer is dry and it just gave everything a little bit of an amber color. I don't even know if you can pick that up on camera, but a very slight ambery color. Um, now I'm going to put some of this wax on here. And I'm going to get a cloth. You know I've got rags around the studio, so... Let's see... And you're supposed to let it dry, so I am going to just spread it around and make sure I get the sides. Okay. 
Okay, we're gonna let it dry and then we're gonna buff it. So I will be back when that is dry. Okay, the wax is dry. So we're gonna buff it with a soft cloth or I'm gonna try a paper towel actually. And I'm gonna just give it a good buff. And that brings out a little bit of a shine. And so we have kind of a, between the wax um, and the um, deco page, which was a matte finish, um, and the wax is more of a satin, not quite glossy finish, we have this interesting sort of um, satiny texture now on our painting that you can see it there. It's a little bit glossy, but it doesn't have a high gloss. I love the finish on it. I love the way this painting turned out. So there you go, there you have it. Uh, a way to get a really great seal on your artwork and with uh, deco art products and uh, have some fun with it. And I really do like this antique deco page. This is a really great, I love the color in it. All right, that's it right now. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, my contact information is in the description below the video and you can leave a comment on the video I promise I'll get back to you at ASAP and uh, if you want to send me happy mail or you have a product you'd like to send me to try and review my uh, PO box is in the description below also don't forget to go out and have a great day everybody do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and I'll see you later bye